There are a number of types of a gradient. This is in CS5, CS4, etc. PC or Mac. Now, I'm just going to go to the gradient tool and then over to the gradient palette. I'm just these are from graphicextras.com, they're edge design. So I'm just going to select one of those. I can select any of them, select that one. And when you've selected the gradient tool, you actually get a selection of different gradients. Now there are other applications that actually got quite a few more gradients than that, but the selection in Photoshop currently is only five gradient types. And I'm just going to select linear. So you just quickly apply the linear. You can also apply radial, which is quite a nice one. Creates some nice button designs. So let's get rid of those. Next one, the angular or angle gradient. So it creates a nice pyramid like design. Just get rid of that. Then go to the reflected, which is great for if you're going to create patterns or designs. So just basically reflection. So it's from there to there, from there to there. Do and the last one, diamond gradient. Now, if you hold down, go at 45, get a square. If you go up, you get a diamond. So uh, two for one. Uh, you also can, of course, reverse. So I'm just going to undo so you can create, obviously, an inner part if you wish. Right, so this is basically, of course, with gradients, you can reapply them multiple times. So, I mean, there might be just one gradient at this point, but with these gradients, I've actually got transparency. So you can actually, there's a transparency set. So you can actually, like, apply the gradient there, apply the gradient there, apply the gradient there. So basically, I mean, even though there is just one type of gradient which is like a diamond you can actually create obviously more complicated shapes using the transparency to build up a design so uh, if i go to step backwards just quickly go to say the circle so you can create a little button so you can create more complex designs than just say a circular design so you can just create maybe a brush stroke design spiral design hundreds of different designs just from the basic core set of designs of course and then you can always apply effects or modify or distort the designs as well so it's not just a circular design you can actually stretch it out to create like elliptical designs as well